I'm going to uh, pack my stuff. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I know you guys heard me talk about my fitness, my health a bazillion billion times and you're like, girl. But I really, really want to um, get it together. I really want to get in a little bit better shape before going wedding dress shopping. I was thinking about doing like a 75 day hard, but well not too hard, like a 75 day medium. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let me share it with my community because maybe some people in my community want to jumpstart their fitness goals and health journey. So I was thinking about like starting like a telegram group just so we can keep each other accountable and, and encourage each other every day for the next 75 days. So the rules would be work out for an hour a day, whether it's 30 minutes split or an hour straight. Of course, if you do like your rest days, just do like walking or mouth stretching for an hour, you know, something, a little something, something. Um, take a picture, read, read 10 pages a day and drink a half a gallon of water and meal prep. No junk food and no alcohol for 75 days. That will be the rules. So comment down below if you want to join and click the link in the description box if you want to join our little accountability group. <laughs> so we can cheer each other on, guys. I need to get snatched from my wedding. Like, seriously, I know that people are like, Becca, you're crazy. We don't see what you see. But I just don't feel good. And I don't want to go wedding dress shopping if I don't feel good. <laughs> So here is my start. You guys are gonna see me transform. Here's the side. And here's my back. So I'm breaking mine up with like a 15 minute run, cardio, and then in the afternoons, well actually in the evenings, me and Tyler go to the gym for about 45 minutes, so. That's how I'm going to be breaking up my hour of working out. <laughs> oh, ooh, y'all. Oh, that was rough. I'm going to post my fitness results on the screen right here. Oh man, that was, that was a doozy. That was a doozy. Whew. It's so crazy how I used to run track and cross country and those type of runs, I used to run mile repeats. Whew. And seven miles, I used to run for an hour and a half straight, no problem, it's like crazy. Like everything hurts, my knees hurt, my legs hurt, my thighs hurt. Everything's hurting, so hopefully through this send the five day hard, it gets easier. Mm. Yo. God is so good. God is so good. Let me tell you guys go good. You know I've been telling you guys that my AC has been out for three weeks. Well, I got the call from the AC company and they are coming by today with the two parts that they need to get it fixed. Y'all, I almost cried. Like, I know I'm like so emotional about it, but three weeks, three weeks, it was, it was so long. But you know what? God is good, God is good, always good because at least I was able to stay at Tyler's house and not have to stay in a really hot house for the last three weeks. So I am so grateful to God. <laughs> But it's finally getting fixed y'all like I was trying my best to like stay patient and stay positive but it was like it was starting to get to me a little bit I'm like Lord Lord how long it's gonna take Lord I'm going to uh, pack my stuff pack my stuff pack all my stuff up here 
and then head over to my house. So I made it back home. I've been literally just unpacking everything, moving back in to my house. <laughs> and I have so much laundry to do. It is like insane. But it's like I have to literally juggle everything while working, so. I'm up for the challenge. So um, the guy, the AC guy said he's on his way. Thankfully, Tyler has the portable AC running, so what is that? So I'm not melting while I wait, which is good. I'm like so excited to be home, to be home. Ah, I feel like it makes me just appreciate my house just so much more. While I wait for the AC guy, I wanna do like a deep clean of the house so that way it's like fresh and renewed for me to back in. Yes, baby. Sorry, you needed me, but yeah, it's going to be nice to meet the kids. Oh my god, my makeup. I have my scatter right right now. My videos are like a little bit all over the place, but it's the best I can do guys with the amount of pile I have on my plate <laughs> but I definitely wanted to bring you guys along and finish up this video uh, I think eventually I'm gonna really put some effort into like learning how to make up like really good. Also, I was finally able to get my wedding guest list together. Um, we decided to do like tiers, like first tier, second tier, third tier. So the first tier was like mostly family and the bridesmaids and stuff like that. But I finally got the invitations out. So happy. I don't really want to huge wedding you know not because I don't want a lot of people there because 
huge wedding equals huge cost. <laughs> We're trying to stay under 80 people, but realistically, <laughs> We're trying to stand there 100. That's our like dead set. So, right now, I sent it like two days ago. We, we already have like 45 people. RSVP. We'll see. Bum, bum, bum. for today's video i'm going to head on to the airport and i will see you guys on the next one bye